Czechia has signed contracts to supply 180,000 artillery rounds for Ukraine within the framework of its initiative and is currently working on acquiring 300,000 more. Petr Fiala, Prime Minister of Czechia, said this in his column for Financial Times ahead of his visit to Washington. The situation in Ukraine is critical. As the war enters its third year, the country's armed forces are under unprecedented pressure. They are running out of ammunition, meaning they are forced to make difficult decisions every day. This makes it extremely hard to hold their lines, the very lines that will decide the security and future of the whole of Europe," he added. Fiala stated that the reason for the success of the Czech initiative of seeking ammunition for Ukraine is deceptively simple. We are working to secure a further 300,000 rounds and have already contracted the first 180,000. These will be delivered to the Ukrainian front in the coming months, Fiala reported. The Czech Prime Minister indicated that about 20 countries, including Denmark and the Netherlands, had joined the initiative the Fiala added that the Czech initiative also gives the West time to accommodate to the new situation in which war is changing our world, this means we can no longer avoid fundamental changes at home, such as strengthening societal resilience and rebuilding sufficient defense capacity. We need to get used to the fact that a responsible security policy must include much greater investment in defense to deter attackers. Israel will soon respond to Iran's attack. The danger of a large-scale war is increasing. Israel may soon take actions in response to Iran's strike on Israeli military objects, the Wall Street Journal reports, citing sources. It is noted that the drone and missile attack launched by Iran on Saturday is the first time Iran has directly attacked Israel from Iranian territory. Israel has conducted hundreds of airstrikes against Iranian targets, and its militia allies throughout the Middle East, a campaign that Israel rarely acknowledges but has long been an open secret. The airstrike in Syria that prompted the Iranian attack on Israel, however, hit what Iran said was a diplomatic building and akin to striking Iranian territory. The attack is seen as a potentially rewriting the rules of engagement in Iran and Israel's long-running shadow war. The newspaper does not specify the exact date of response to the attack, while its sources say the United States won't join any such offensive by Israel. Washington insists that Israel should not take any action which could lead to further escalation. The New York Times said that officials made no statements after the session of the military cabinet of ministers of Israel on April the 14th. However, an official familiar with the course of discussions confirmed that Israel will undoubtedly respond to Iran's attack. 
The New York Times reported earlier citing sources that Israel's response will be coordinated with allies, though not specifying which allies are meant. Israel reacted angrily to the unprecedented strikes while praising its military response. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant said the attack was thwarted in a way that is unparalleled, but added we must be prepared for every scenario. Israel and Iran are long-standing rivals and have been engaged in a shadow war for years. Israel's war on Hamas, waged since the militant group attacked Israel on October the 7th, has heightened those tensions. Iranian-backed forces in Iraq and Syria have launched attacks aimed at US military positions in those countries, and Iran's leadership has warned that attacks by its allies won't stop until Israel's war in Gaza ends. But fears of a spiraling regional war spiked further in early April when Iran accused Israel of bombing its diplomatic complex in Syria.